So for today, we're going to be looking at the ornaments for Season of the Deep for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we usually get ornaments every season. And for this one, we got some ornaments for Blight Ranger and Girl Falcon's Hauberk. Some pretty interesting exotics to get ornaments. I especially like Blight Ranger's ornament, but unfortunately, Blight Ranger is still doo-doo butter. Hopefully, it gets a buff because I would really love to use this ornament. And the girl falcon one is okay. I'm, obviously, we're gonna be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, and then I'll give you an example set because obviously, this is this is my channel. I do example sets for a lot of stuff. So, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, the first ornament is called Homestead's Downfall. It's a really really cool ornament. I really love it. It's also cool because like the inner mask kind of reminds me of a ghost's head which is really cool, but I I just love aesthetically how it looks. I think it's one of the better looking helmets in the game. As for how it shaders, it shaders really, really well. The like helmet and like the, the, the visor glows really well, but it also really does change color, which is really, really good. But it also has some like glowy bits on the actual bottom of the jaw, which is super, super cool. I especially love how how ancient wisdom looks on it but i also like cryptic insignia as well i think it just shaders well overall let me know what you guys think about that as for the example set obviously we're using the helmet but for the arms we're using diamond spawn grips because i like how it's almost symmetrical to the height of the hardened basilisk chest piece i think it looks really cool together and then thunderhead strides i think these are super super cool and then for the cloak hardened basilisk cloak is what we're using just because I really like this cloak. It's like one of my favorite looking cloaks. And as for the shadering, there's a few reasons why I'm using the Omnicronia. A, it really combines the Hardened Basilisk cloak into just one color. Because if you guys don't know, the Hardened Basilisk cloak actually is asymmetrical with the shadering. But with Omnicronia, it just combines it into one shader, which is why I'm using it. Uh, the other reason is because the Diamond Spawn Grips actually takes the off color most of the time. So Omnicronia really doesn't care about that. If it sees an armor plate, it just immediately combines it into that orange chrome. So that's why I'm using Omnicronia. Just a lot of reasons behind that. Not just because, oh, I love love the shader. Even though I do, it's mainly because it combines colors together and just uni makes it more uniform. Because if I use any other shader on this, you're going to notice that A, the Hardened Basilisk Vesk uh, on the left side has a piece that changes color. Uh, the diamond spawn arms changes to an off color for the shoulder pads, but then for the forearm plates, it's, it stays the same color. And then for the hardened basilisk, just half of that would be different color. So like half of it would be another color and half of it would be another color. So that's why I'm just using Omnicronia because I know that's the best shader to combine everything. So that's pretty much it for Homestead's downfall. Let me know what you guys think about that one. The next one we're going to be looking at is the pressure stabilizer ornament for the girl falcon this one is interesting like i like the fact that you can see like an eagle in the main chest plate um i think my biggest gripe about it it's just it kind of looks boring um and i know some people might get some shit for or i i might get some shit for that because some people are going to be like oh it looks really cool like it looks cool like especially the ornaments that i made or the example sets that i made because i made two technically it's just i switched the helmet out um but I like the example set that I made and I and if this this does goes on ugh, and if this does go on sale I'll definitely pick it up but my first initial reaction to it was it kind of looks boring as for how it shaders it shaders really well uh way better than the default look at least I think so just because every piece changes color and I like the pieces that change color a little bit more than the other one granted it's not that big of a difference but I really like how this one changes color a lot uh, specifically cryptic insignia i think is like the best one here but i also really do like the ancient wisdom i think ancient wisdom just looks really really cool let me know which one is your sh favorite shader in the comments below as for the example set we're going to be taking a set from the npa set that i made for the hunters if you guys don't know i made this video right here and i'm pretty sure i use the arms for the pressure stabilizer i'm just going to take that and switch some things around mainly the cloak and the helmet I really like Lost Pacifica mask. I really, really like it. That's why I'm using it. But I do switch this helmet out for another one if you guys are not interested in using the Lost Pacifica mask. For the arms, NPA Way Rocker is what we're using just because uh, I'm trying to go for like a underwater scuba dude, scuba dude type of thing. And the NPA uh, grips are really good because not only is it really just 
plain on the actual arms but then you get to the forearms and you get that really cool plate texture which is what i'm going for and then the pathfinder's leg guards because it goes really well with the arms kind of like just a, a wetsuit type of feel and then for the cloak calamity rig cloak is what we're using just because of the hose on the throat i think that looks really cool it makes it seem like that like the chest piece has some sort of like oxygen on it so that way i can breathe and then for the shader reef regalia just because for me it reminds me of what wetsuits kind of look like color wise and that's why i'm using it for the other example set it's literally just a helmet change i, I used omni oculus instead if you're not interested in using the other mask just because Omni Oculus mask for me is way better, takes off the hood and it makes it look a little bit better. So that's why I'm using that one. So let me know which one is your favorite. I personally like the first one a little bit more just because Omni the Omni Oculus mask is super cool, but the other one has a mat like like a, an actual tube uh, or not tube. Well, it has a tube on the on the face mask and it kind of makes it look like he's wearing a rebreather, which is why I like it. And the Omni Oculus mask doesn't look like that, although the, you could argue the holes in the in the neck is what is giving the person the oxygen and the mask doesn't do anything. So I can I can see that argument, but I think a gas mask type of thing would look better. Not gas mask because that makes no sense, but like something that has a hose connected to it. Like another example, a good one would be the Qua, the Qua helmet. Uh, that's the one from Warmind Eververse. Yeah, the Eververse Warmind set. That one would be really cool as well. Just be aware that the helmet, the the visor doesn't change color so it's going to be an orange visor just be aware of that but let me know what you guys think i really really enjoyed making some of these and tweaking the the pressure stabilizer set because again i did take that from the npa set but let me know what you guys think hunters i think we got some pretty good ones in this one so let me know what you guys think be safe i will see you guys later